I want to stick with the markets now and bring in Gareth Soloway. He's president and CFO of InTheMoneyStocks.com. Gareth, always good to see you on the show. I want to ask your opinion on what's happening with the Chinese stock market right now. And for U.S. investors looking for some exposure in China, what would you tell them right now? Yeah, and it's been it's been bloody out there. There's no doubt about it. Now, as a contrarian investor, I start to get interested in names like Alibaba, Baidu, kind of the best of breed names out there. To me, I kind of look at the crackdown in China and I say, okay, you know, in the short term, this is a negative, but in longer term perspectives, could this be China trying to get control and make sure the transparency there with their companies is clear enough to continue their listings in the U.S.? So if you look at, you know, just a few months ago, the SEC came out and said, hey, listen, we want the Chinese companies to start reporting uh, financial results in the same way U.S. companies do. And, and we've seen a lot of shady things in the history of the Chinese market. You have to wonder if China's maybe trying to start that push for more transparency, which is, again, going to create more regulation, which scares investors. But in the long term, could it actually be a positive? All right, Gareth, let's talk about another crackdown that we're seeing in China. And of course, that's on Bitcoin. And we've chatted with you about this before. Uh, it seems as if we're only going to be seeing more and more of these headlines coming out of perhaps not just China, but also other countries, at least when it comes to regulation of the cryptocurrency. Uh, when you see this and when you see the moves that Bitcoin makes as a part of these you know, negative headlines, do you really view these moments as buying opportunities um, and that the negative press will eventually fade going forward? Or do you view this more of perhaps an Achilles heel for Bitcoin that is going to be taking these wild swings every time a, a negative headline comes out about it? Yeah, so I, I view Bitcoin as a long-term huge success story. So it's just a matter of your time frame. If you're five to 10 years out on Bitcoin, I think it's here to stay and it will continue to gain momentum all over the world. I think what China is doing is basically they're trying to claim the digital yuan as the future reserve currency of the world. And they don't want to risk messing with Bitcoin in that respect. They're basically trying to push Bitcoin down so the digital yuan can start to take over a little bit. Um, ultimately, I think China knows that that Bitcoin's here to stay, but they want it more as the digital gold. And I think that's exactly what Bitcoin is. So I still think there's more downside on Bitcoin. The bear flag forming on the daily chart is still pretty powerful. But ultimately, if your time horizon is long enough, you'll see that 100,000 and plus level on Bitcoin achieved. You know, what do you make of uh, this note from UBS last week? They came out and they said that they expect cryptocurrency prices to continue to fluctuate. They called it a speculative market that poses significant risks to professional investors. Yet you see somebody like Goldman Sachs, they relaunched their crypto trading desk recently, even though they're not completely all in on crypto. So what do you think the messaging is to the individual investor sort of hearing these mixed messages from the pros? Yeah, so so Goldman, in the terms of their trading desk, they're in it for the shorter term, you know, the trading, the movement. And, and it's a great, great crypto is a great trading vehicle if you can trade it in the short term. I think the way investors have to view it is to look back to the dot com era. Right. So if you invested in a bunch of dot coms back in ninety nine, ninety eight. Um, a lot of them aren't around today. If you happen to invest in Amazon back then, you did amazingly, amazingly well, right? You guys were just talking about the big breakout on the daily chart on Amazon today. So I think that's the key. As an investor, I would strongly encourage you to stay with best of breed, meaning the ones that the institutions are involved in, the one Tesla's buying, the one you know MicroStrategy continues to accumulate. So Bitcoin and Ether, basically. But you have to understand, if you're playing the speculati speculation on a lot of these tiny ones, they may not be around just like a lot of the dot-coms weren't around after the dot-com crash. All right, Gareth Soloway, always good to see you. Thanks for stopping by.